everybody. I'm Mr. Ferris alongside Isabel Shosti. Isabel, I got a question for you. Would you be uh, willing to accept a drone delivered pizza? Of course. Would you be a, a little concerned that like it? Yeah, probably. I'd be scared. It'd be like something out of the TV show The Jetsons if you're old enough to remember that cartoon. Anyway, we'll have more about drones coming up right after our news. During her show, Chelsea Handler helped a Syracuse man with a surprise proposal. Thomas Coughlin and Tony, Tony Maroney joined Handler on stage, acting like it was part of her performance. Handler had the couple close their eyes, Maroney got down on one knee, and when Coughlin opened his eyes, he saw Maroney holding a Tiffany's engagement ring box. During the show, he said, so in front of the world, or, of, or Syracuse in front of your favorite comedian, now that Joan Rivers is dead, I want to ask you because I think you will have a crush. I think you have a crush on me. Will you be the Ch Chelsea Handler to my Joe Coy? Coughlin said yes, and the couple is planning their wedding for the fall of 2023. Sesame Street's main cast sent out a series of Twitter messages last Saturday, encouraging kids to get vaccinated on the Big Bird, Elmo, and other accounts. With the Big Bird account saying, "I got my COVID-19 vaccine today." My wing was feeling a little sore, but it'll give my body an extra protective boost that keeps me and others healthy. In response, Ted Cruz tweeted on Saturday, Government propaganda for your five-year-old. Last night, a man showed up at Upstate Hospital with a stab wound in his buttocks, then proceeded to throw illegal drugs into a trash can. At around 4.45 p.m. yesterday, David Garcia, 35, was stabbed on Blaine Street. Shortly after walking up to the hospital, he threw illegal drugs into one of the garbage cans. Police don't know who stabbed Garcia, but he was charged with 5th and 7th degree possession of a controlled substance. The stab wound was non-life-threatening. Non Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Isabel, are you going tonight? I am going tonight. Uh, unfortunately, fans are going to pay money to watch me play in the ESM DECA Buckets for Bayheim to benefit the Jim and Julie Bayheim Foundation. The event will feature two charity basketball games on Tuesday, November 9th, in the ESM High School Gymnasium. The first game will feature uh, you students versus a whole bunch of old people in the staff game at 6 p.m. The second game starting at 7.30 p.m. will feature an ESM alumni game. Which I'm really excited about that. Tickets are $5 for adults and $3 for students. Tickets will be available to purchase at the door on the day of the event. Which is today. And the first three students to see this right now, Mr. Anzalone and B4, will get free tickets. You gotta get down there, B4. Who knows, maybe Adam Sandler will make a special appearance. I don't know. I don't do, you, know. do you know who Adam Sandler is? Yeah. Okay. Just checking because you've made some other strange comments today. But we'll go over those later. Picture retakes will be this Friday, November 12th in the auditorium. You can stop in any time during the day to have your picture taken. If for some reason you did not get your picture to package yet and expected one, you can also do a retake. You will be able to choose which picture you want. There will be a Spartan stage meeting on Wednesday, November 10th at 325 in the chorus room. We will elect officers and give an update on the musical. Please see Mrs. DeBurgess if you have, uh, if you have any questions or are unable to attend. The television news class is training a group of students to be part of the morning crew's, the morning show's new drone crew. The group is using drones with video cameras to capture still shots and videos from the aerial's perspective. In order to use drones, the Federal Aviation Administration requires comprehension of regulations, airspace, weather, safety, medical and physical flight characteristics before takeoff. Let's take a look at these qualities more in depth. To start off, we do a weather briefing where we take a look at the forecast and see if it's a good day to fly. Our greatest concern is visibility and wind, so just to be sure, we go outside to get a visual inspection of the weather. Our next important step is to get approved through LAANCE, Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability, since ESM is located in a FAA Class C airspace.
Next, we do a pre-flight inspection off the drone and a visual inspection off the obstacles that may appear. Before flight begins, a pilot in command must be determined before powering up the drone. This person is ultimately responsible for all aspects of the mission. A compass calibration is required to complete before each flight to align the drone's flight system with the Earth's magnetic north. Next, the drone is ready to take off. And lastly, after we're done flying, we bring the drone back for landing and take a look at the footage we took on it. Today we'll have a high of 61 degrees and a low of 47. There's also an 84% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be a little bit more cold with a high of 54 and a low of 34 degrees. It's going to warm up a little bit on Thursday. There is going to be a high of 59 degrees and a low of 50 with a 97% chance of rain. And I'm Maddie with your weather. And now on to sports. <laughs> oh. Now those drones flying. You know. The Pittsburgh Steelers edged out a 29 to 27 win after a 21 point fourth quarter comeback from the Chicago Bears. The Steelers were led by their rookie as Najee Harris had a rushing touchdown and Pratt Fryermuth had two receiving touchdowns on the night. Chris Bowles' 40 yard field goal gave the Steelers the win. Justin Fields had the best game of his young career so far as he went 17 of 29 for 291 yards and one touchdown. Former Buffalo Bills CEO, Syracuse native, and ESM graduate, Russ Brandon was named as the new XFL president on Monday. The Syracuse men's basketball team opens up their seasons tonight against Lafayette at seven. The Golden State Warriors beat the Atlanta Hawks 127 to 113. Steph Curry went nine of 19 from the three and finished the night with 50 points. This is his second 40 plus performance of the season so far. The Chicago Bulls beat the Brooklyn Nets 118 to 95. DeMar DeRozan led the Bulls in points with 28, and Kevin Durant led the Nets in points with 38. And I'm Ryan with your sports. I've been inspired. I might go for 50 points tonight. Yeah? Yeah, if they multiply my points by <laughs> 10. Any advice for me? Um, just try not to get hurt. Maybe make all your shots. Stretch a yeah. lot. All right, hope everybody can come out and enjoy both games tonight. Once again, 6 o'clock and 7.30. From everybody here at the Morning Show, have a great day.